my beats, but I got cold like a heat. What's up and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up because I promise you're going to love it. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the post notification bell. So you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Glad you came back for the tea. If you haven't seen the other tea, college tea series videos, please click right up here and go check them out either before or after. It doesn't really make a difference. Okay, so today's tea is not that long. Quick story, but a goodie. Let's just, let's just get right into it. Okay. Today's tea is so juicy, I, I had to bring you Afro Thunder. I'm bringing you Afro Thunder. Not relevant, just wanted to point it out. Let's do character names first. Uh, the roommate that I'm going to be discussing today is, let's call her Candy. And we're going to be talking about Candy and my boyfriend at the, well, boyfriend, ex-boyfriend at the time. Uh, let's call him Trevor. Trevor, okay, so Candy, Trevor, okay, let's, so let's get into it. So today's story is going to be about how your roommate will steal your man. You know what I'm saying? We all heard it before, and this is my truth. This is my truth. No, I'm just playing, so let's calm down. Okay, so when you're in college, everybody just kind of hangs out, okay? And I say this to say that sometimes when after you break up, when you're in college or high school, sometimes your exes still hang out with their friends or your roommates because you all become friends and you know, you, you get it, you get it, you get it. And not to say that that doesn't happen in adulthood and not to say that college kids are kids and that they're not adults, but... It's just a, it's a different dynamic. Normally when you're a little bit older, when you break up or divorce people, typically your exes don't, you have separate friend circles. And normally if you share the same friend circle, it gets messy, but I'm rambling, that's irrelevant, that's not the point. I'm just trying to give you all a little bit of a backstory. I'm trying to set the scene. I had me a little boyfriend or whatever in college, okay, Trevor, and like, that's a whole other story time. So if you want to hear about the, the that relationship, the juiciness of that, please leave a comment in the section down below. Let me know because I'll tell you. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Um, okay, so Candy, let me just tell you, I mean, she was she was just one of them. Fast forward, the relationship expired. Okay, Trevor and I, we just we just could not get it to work out, so we went our separate ways. Well, Candy being the kind of girl that she is, and Trevor just being just sneaky as all get out. Um, they continued to be friends and hang out. I was pretty, I think I was honest about, you know, it's kind of weird, not really comfortable with you guys hanging out. But, you know, I was like, you know, at the end of the day, I can't tell y'all what to do. Y'all grown. If y'all want to continue to hang out, then like, whatever. Who am I? I'm not going to be bitter. I was not a Topanga. Never been a Topanga. Never looking at blah, blah, blah. <sighs> They continued to hang out. Even though I, 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 you know, I told them not really comfortable with it. I more or less gave the green light with it. But even after that, they were both like, no, Chanel, we're not going to hang out anymore. What little nigga? We're not going to hang out anymore. We're not even friends like that. We're not even friends like that. And I was like, if y'all could guess, this is part of the reason why we broke up. Just, you know, just niggas be real friendly. For no, just no reason, just friendly, you know what I'm saying? And she's sneaky, he's sneaky, like, duh, duh, duh. and they both, no, we not gonna hang out, we don't care. I'm like, okay, whatever. So, fast forward, you know, I'm out here, I'm living my best life. I went to the pool, I was getting a nice tan, darling, it took me a little swim, I was gone. And I would go tanning and swimming uh, pretty regularly and kind of on the same schedule. Um, I did a lot of tanning swimming in college or whatever because we had a nice pool. Irrelevant. Moving on. Um, also, uh, if you haven't seen the other videos, I, I, this is the third time I'm saying this, but we lived in apartments, not dorms. If you want more of the explanation, go back and watch the other two videos. Okay, I'm sorry, sidetrack. Let's move on. So, like I said, I normally swim and tan around like the same times, right? I ended up going, I, I was done a little early. I can't remember if it was starting to rain or what the situation was, but I was done. I was bronze. I was tired. I was ready to go back home, darling. So, I went back home, and as I'm coming up the stairs, I, I, I could have sworn, I could have sworn that I heard voices, uh, 
coming from my apartment which you know no big no big i had you know had some roommates they have friends you know i figured oh okay someone's someone's entertaining someone's entertaining you know no problem i get closer to the door and when i put the key in the door i don't hear the voices anymore so i was kind of like well eh, you know no big no big so i open the door and i realize right away something something's wrong First of all, the energy hit me. The energy, there was energy. There was an aura. There was a presence in the apartment. Something was off. The vibe was not aligned. The second thing I noticed is, okay, so in our kitchen, we had a sliding door. You don't really see that very often, but the, we had a door that you could close and, and shut the kitchen off. We never used it. It was closed. So I'm like, why? Why is a door that we never use suddenly closed? Like, I, I mean, I don't think we had ever used it. I almost forgot that we even had that sliding door to the kitchen. So I was like, you know, I was like, you know what? I'm tired. I'm 10. I'm going to shower. I, you know, I'll figure it out later. I mean, maybe it's closed for a reason. Whatever. Didn't care enough to open the door to figure it out. Although, I should have. So as soon as I get in my bedroom, I close the door behind me, and then I hear voices again and not the ones in my head I, I, I'm hearing voices and I'm like I could have sworn no one was home no one greeted me no one acknowledged my presence I announced myself no one has said anything and I'm hearing voices again I was like what the I listen I listen a little closer you know I put my little ear up to the door I put my little ear up to the wall darling and I'm like I recognize this voice that's Trevor's voice but we don't go together and who's, who's here? I don't know. I don't understand. I'm like, I'm tripping. Okay, maybe it's just a man's voice. <laughs> so I open my door, and then all of a sudden, it's just psst, hush tones. I'm like, oh, okay, somebody up in here being sneaky. Okay, whatever. So I just figured my one, you know, I just figured my roommate was just having a little rendezvous, darling, if you will, a little rendezvous, and they didn't want me to know about it. Also, no big, none of my business. Moving on, right? I was like, you know what? None of my business. So I closed the door. And when I closed my bedroom door the second time, all of a sudden I hear, I hear a bunch of shuffling for about 10 seconds. And then I hear the front door slam. Okay. I'm not dumb. I might be a lot of things, but I'm not dumb. And I can read the signs. And I know that nigga voice. Okay? So I I, I so when I heard the shuffling, I walked out and I and I saw my roommate. And she's looking very sneaky. And I'm like, oh hey. She's hi, hi, what's going? What's up? What's up? D didn't know you were coming home. What's going on, Chanel? And I'm like, Okay, so she's acting so acting all sneaky, and I acknowledge her, and I said, "Hey, was someone just here?" Cause you know that's a reasonable question. I was like, "Was someone just here?" Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, were y'all in the kitchen? Um, well, I um um well, and I was like, um, I was like, "Well, who was here?" And she she acted like she didn't want to tell me. I said, "Was it Trevor?" And she was like, "Yeah, yeah, Trevor was here." And I was like. I was like, okay, 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 okay. And she was like, are you mad? Are you mad? Does it bother you? Like, da, 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 da. I was like, no, 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 we cool, we cool, we, 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 you know? So I immediately, I get on the phone. I call up Trevor. And it's ringing. And it's ringing. Didn't answer. Okay, okay, not going, okay, okay, okay. I could have let it go right there, but like I said, this is college and it's petty drama. So I was petty. I had to double back. I was like, let me call again. Let me let me call it. Let me call again. So I called again. He answered this time. He answered. Uh, hello. I said, uh, yeah. I said, hey man. Uh, would you just at my apartment? And he didn't say anything. I said, hello. I said, hello. He said, huh? I said, hey. Uh, I said, yeah man. Would you at my? Would you just at my apartment? Uh, what'd you say? <laughs> If you hum me, what did you say? <laughs> if 
finally, once we got past the hum, what did you say? I was like, yeah, man, would you, would you just have my apartment? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, man, you, why'd you say, why'd you say what's up? Well, you, 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 you want to say hi and speak? You, you heard me come in. Y'all was in the kitchen, you heard me come in. Well, yeah, I just, I had, I had, I, yeah, I had to go immediately. Uh, I said, oh, okay, man, that's cool. I said, you gonna be home? He said, huh? I said, you gonna be home? Uh, yeah. I said, you mind if I stop by for a second? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Anyway, so I stroll on over there, darling. And I knock on the door, and he's sitting there looking all sneaky. And I said, oh, Trevor, I was like, dang, man, you was at my apartment. You couldn't say what's up or the blah, 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 blah. Oh, well, you know, I, blah, blah, blah. I was like, well, what were you doing? What were y'all doing? Why was the kitchen door closed? We were making pancakes. I said, oh, well, I like pancakes too. I was like, y'all didn't want to invite me to have pancakes? Like, what's up? Like, this is that. But uh, also, uh, why'd you have to have the door closed to the kitchen? Like, what was that about? Oh, well, uh, we were just trying to make sure the smoke didn't travel through the house. I said, oh, so y'all were burning pancakes. We're cooking, we're cooking and we're burning. I don't understand. I don't understand. Not to mention, we had like one of those window bars to the kitchen. So like you sit at the bar and look into the kitchen. Y'all know what I'm talking about? If you don't, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. The point is, is that sliding door was not going to stop no smoke come from that kitchen from some alleged pancakes that y'all was burning. <sighs> look, if you're going to lie, let the line make sense. So anyway, so I told him, I said, look, I know that we are not together and who you hang out with is none of my business, whether it's my roommate or anybody else. I don't give a damn, okay? What I give a damn about is the sneakiness. You don't have to be sneaky. I told y'all y'all can hang out. What seems to be the problem here? So anyways, without going into detail what I said, I was a lady, honey, and I just gave him a piece of my mind. And I told him just don't even, you know, I, I thought maybe we could be cordial. I thought maybe we could be adults here and and, and, and right, you know, very much, very that, very that, very that. And so I moved on. So now it was my roommate's turn, okay? Don't think I forgot about her. I'm not one of those Judys who goes, you know, everybody gets it, okay? Not just the guy, not just the friend. Everybody's gonna hear a piece of my mind, okay? So I go on back. And I stroll home, darling. And I stroll home and I go back home and I say, Candy, let's, ha let's, have, let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation. And so I asked her the same questions and I gave her a piece of my mind. And I told her, sweetie, we're all grown here. We're all adults. You don't need to be sneaky. Okay? You don't need to be sneaky. You know what I'm saying? What were they actually doing in that kitchen? I'll let y'all decide. How long had they been hanging out? Did this carry on for some extra amount of time? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. I'm going to tell you, both of these situations got a whole lot more juicy. <laughs> they both got a whole lot more juicy, and I don't have time to sit up here and tell you today. Well, if you want to know about it, we can keep the story going. For now, we are going to end it with the pancake story. Did they ever invite me for pancakes after that? No. Another, uh, another thing. Just because you think people are going to be gone for a certain amount of time. Don't, don't, I mean, uh, come on now, damn, damn. I know we was young, but you, you okay, okay, I went, I went to the pool, y'all. I went to the pool, I didn't go out of town. And, and you know, and what would have been better if, if I would have came home and they were just sitting playing cards in the living room, kicking, in the kitchen kicking, actually eating pancakes. And it, that would have even been better. I would have been like, mm, look at them hanging out. And I just would have, hey, how y'all doing? Went on about my business. But because y'all want to be sneaky and running all out the house and shit. I mean, for, for, what? For, why? Yeah. Anyways, that's uh, today's tea. If you want to know the rest of the story or, uh, you know. Uh, whatever questions you have I will certainly fill in the blanks yeah I hope you enjoyed it there's more tea where they came from if you haven't already done so subscribe button thumbs up post notification bell and um, I will see you in the next video bye